So how do we convert negative 540 degrees into radians? Well, it turns out that we can follow a very straightforward process. The first thing we need to know is though a relationship between degrees and radians. In other words, we know that pi radians, or about 3.14 radians, is equivalent to 180 degrees. We have to start with this, keep that on the side. The first thing that I'm going to do in actually setting up now my conversion is writing down the given value negative 540 degrees. Instead of writing the symbol, I'm going to write out the word. We then set up our conversion fraction here, which will have a value in the denominator and a value in the numerator. The value in the denominator down here is going to be the degree measurement from your known relationship. And the reason why that is, is because watch what happens so beautifully to the units of degrees. They will cancel. We want them to cancel. We don't want degrees in our answer. We want the answer in terms of radians. That's why the degrees will go on the, on the bottom there because it has to cancel the degrees up in the numerator. Once we do that then, we are now forced basically to put the pi radian value in the numerator there of my conversion fraction. Notice the radians won't cancel. I don't want them to cancel because I want my answer in terms of radians. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The problem is basically over. Okay, it's basically over. So now what we can do here is we can basically now start simplifying if we want it. So we want to try to find now maybe how many times 180 goes into 540. You can start reducing that if you like. It turns out that it goes into about three times. So in other words, this problem literally works out to be this. Three, negative three times then pi radians is equivalent to what? Well, I don't know, three pi radians. And that's the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.